Hey everybody, uh, Rich Carlson, N9JIG here. Um, we uh, spent the weekend uh, putting in some new furniture and rearranging my uh, office and um, wanted to do a quick video to uh, show uh, what I've got here. Uh, you've probably seen most of this uh, equipment before. Um, some of the furniture is new, but the equipment is pretty well uh, uh, the same as it has been before. So we'll start off with the uh, radio cabinet uh, right there is a uh, 42U uh, networking cabinet, and that cabinet has uh, all the scanners and everything uh, is in there. We'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, my main computer desk over here, and a wall TV with a uh, virtual rail fan going. And in fact, there's a train coming along now. And if anybody's up at Horseshoe Curve, you can wave, because that's where I'm taking that uh, video from right now. And then uh, on this wall is another TV and um, my uh, uh, small section of my airplane connect collection. I don't have room to put all of them out, but I just have a couple of the more important ones uh, there. Uh, that's the Folkestone Rail Tunnel on that uh, virtual rail fan sc uh, screen. And then um, my wife's desk. And we're back to uh, the radio desk again. So let me start off with the radio cabinet. Um, the very top, there are four PSR 600s. Uh, those are used for uh, Pro 96 Com, and that decodes P25 systems. And then um, I use one radio to decode and the other one to uh, work as a voice radio. Uh, the numbers on, alongside each radio is the COM port numbers, so that way I can tell which radio is what uh, at the computer. And then directly below the uh, PSR 600s, there are eight. Um, BCT 15s and then below the BCT 15s are four BCT 15 X's they look almost identical um, the uh, BCT 15 uh, X has a couple added features that the 15 doesn't have uh, directly below that are two uh, BCD 996 XT's and then uh, there's the ICOM uh, 8500 R8500 in a Novex, uh, Novus, Novacon um, rack, and then my uh, 746 Pro, also in a Novacon rack, and then uh, below that are some two-way radios, um, my Kenwood TMD730, or TM731D, I think is what they uh, call that, uh, my TYT8600 uh, uh, DMI radio, and my trusty old Motorola uh, CDM1250, uh, below that are two uh, decoders. This is a uh, MDC decoder, uh, Cimarron MDC decoder on the left, and on the right is a PL decoder hooked up to my uh, 8500. And then um, directly below that is my TRX2. And then um, in the cabinet, in the below part of the cabinet here, um, uh, there, oh, by the way, there's two power supplies uh, behind the, those panels. One for the transmitters, one for the scanners. And then uh, the cabinet below has got my networking gear, the um, uh, UPS for the uh, computer networking gear. Uh, there's a cable modem, a, a router, a switch, um, and some other uh, computer networking gear there. There's a access, wireless access point out in the hallway. And then uh, this is what I call my computer desk or my second desk. So um, below the desk is just some power cords and stuff. I got a skirt around there so it doesn't, you don't have to look at all the wires. Um, and then there's two screens there um, connected to the uh, NUC, which is on the shelf above. And on the left screen is my uh, air nav radar box. And you can see all the little, uh, all the airplanes that are in my area. It's a relatively busy day on a Saturday afternoon. And then um, over here are um, 14 instances of Pro Scan, uh, Pro Scan running all my different unit and radios from the cabinet. And then two copies of Pro 96 Com. And uh, they all operate um, the different radios on the uh, out of the rack. And then uh, above that is the Nook itself, and that's the Skull Canyon. Or no, I'm sorry, the Hades Canyon Nook. Um, it's uh, one of their latest radios uh, or radios, latest computers. Uh, basically, you buy it as a kit. Comes with the uh, the computer itself. 
uh, does not come with RAM or storage. So you buy your own RAM, buy your own uh, SSDs, and put it together, install your operating system, and go. Um, it took me about two hours to put together, about uh, 20 minutes to put the uh, RAM and the uh, SSDs in there. I got two uh, uh, NVMe uh, uh, S, uh, SSDs and a couple 16 gig uh, um, SO DIMMs in there and then uh, about an hour and a half or so to install windows and then uh there's my home control 2 um which i keep there to charge and then i can pick it up and grab it and take it out in the uh, patio with me at night um a couple motorola and uh, kenwood portables the charger for my anytone which is up in the car uh g5 uh unication g5 my big led clock that i can see without um at a quick glance and then uh, a couple portables up here. Uh, there's a 325, no antenna on it right now. I was using that for something else at the time. Um, a, a Motorola portable, um, my Arcom uh, R5. I've got another R5 out in the car. Um, a, a Pro 106, or is that a 651? I can never remember which. Uh, Kenwood portable, uh, tri-band portable, two meters, 220, 440. Uh, my BC-125, my 396, my TRX-1, and my 436. I've got another uh, 325 out in the car. It's my main uh, car pocket scanner. Um, and then I come back over here to my desk. Uh, this is the mini stack. I had pictures of this on uh, Radio Reference last week. Um, bottom is a PSR-400. There are two 996XTs, Home Patrol 1, SDS-200 at the very top, and SDS-100. Um, 100 uh, on the uh, hanger. Uh, that is just on a speed clip, motor, uh, regular uh, microphone uh, speed clip, and then it just hangs right on there. Uh, the SDS 200 is not actually mounted, it's just sitting on uh, the top of the uh, uh, thing so I can grab it and bring it out in the car with me. Uh, the other radios are kind of mounted. The uh, uh, home Patrol is mounted on a piece of uh, painted 2x4, which kind of squeezes in there. And then the uh, three radios are mounted with their uh, regular uh, mounting screws. And that is the four um, radio uh, desk um, mount uh, rack from Scanner Master. And then on the back of it, um, there is the eight port multi-coupler just mounted on a bracket in the back of it. And that serves uh, all one, two, three, six of those radios. And then I still have two extra ports in case you want to hook another radio to it. Uh, this is the new desk that we just uh, bought this week. I uh, bought it, I ordered it on Tuesday uh, lunchtime, and it was delivered on Thursday evening, of course, right during dinner. And then um, Friday after work, I uh, took my office apart. We uh, took everything out of here that we could. We assembled the desk upside down and then uh, flipped it over and uh, started mounting all my stuff to it. Uh, this is an uplift standing desk, L-shaped standing desk. This is the largest one that they have. Um, it's like an 83 inch, I think is what the uh, size in the main desk and a 48 inch uh, return is what they call it, the side desk. And the neat thing about it is that it goes up. And that's how many inches off the floor the bottom of the desk is. And, oh, by the way, there's a UPS slung up underneath on the CPU holder. And the desk goes up and up and up and up and up. up. So we'll bring the desk up to 54.4 uh, inches off the floor. And now you can see how high this desk really is. And I mean, my de my chair goes underneath it now. That's a Aeron chair, and that slides underneath. It's got a high back, so it's uh, pretty tall anyway. So uh, that desk goes way high. In fact, so high that if the, the highest level is way too high for me to be standing at it comfortably. Um, right now, I'm six foot four, and the thing comes up to uh, uh, midway through my chest. So yeah, it goes up very high. Um, but it's very quiet, very fast. Um, took about uh, two hours, maybe three hours to put the whole thing together, and um, it was a, uh, wasn't bad, the instructions were pretty good. So uh, on that desk, I have three 32-inch uh, Asus monitors, and um, they're all connected to my 
um, 2018 version of the Mac Mini. Uh, for the computer guys, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, two terabyte SSD, six core i7 processor with the uh, 4.2, it, something like that. Uh, gig processor, it's uh, the fastest um, Mac Mini that, the, that was available and uh, with the most amount of memory or, or storage. Uh, there was a 64 gig memory option, but I didn't need that much, 32 is fine. Um, that's actually my best Windows machine. I run Parallels with that and uh, run and Parallels, um, I use that for my Windows applications when I'm programming radios and such. Um, it's more convenient for me to do it here than it is to do it on the NUC so uh, uh, often, so I just uh, run that. Plus I run my, uh, my work software goes on that. And then um, that's connected to the three screens, one by HDMI, two by uh, USB-C, and then uh, of course my work phone and the, uh, the other computer, the weather station, and the printer in the background. So that's basically uh, the office. Um, I uh, spend my days here because I work from home. Um, spend a lot of time in the evening here as well and uh, playing radio and uh, doing all my other stuff. And um, it's a great place to hide out. Uh, the wife's got her little uh, corner of the office as well for her stuff. And uh, she, likes, uh, she likes the fact that I'm spending money on radios and computers instead of wine, women, and song, which uh, is probably a good thing to keep the marriage happy. So uh, there's, the, uh, there's the office. And I'll put pictures up at Radio Reference as well. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you've got any uh, questions, uh, just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, uh, like it if you like it. And dislike it if you dislike it. And uh, leave a comment and uh, say, hey, talk to you guys later. Bye now.